I love how you came to the carpet and you knew exactly how to sit just right next to your writing partner. So that helps us save time. And then it just helps us get started right away. So when you need your partner, they're right there beside you. So um, I wanted to start off today with a little video. Can you show the It's just short and sweet. So. to help us or maybe we have a brother or sister who helps us um, around the house to clean up our bedroom so you have a writing partner because sometimes you just need a little help and that's exactly what your writing partner is going to do for you today and all year long so it's kind of exciting it kind of makes you realize that you're not alone in your writing right like you're there's going to be days where you work by yourself but you always have that partner if you need them um, but specifically today you guys I'm going to show you um, how to work with your writing partner. I'm going to show you kind of some tips and tricks on how to work with a writing partner. So um, what I'm going to um, give us a chance to do is work together with our partner down here on the carpet. Then you're going to go do some work on your own independently. And then you're going to get a second chance to come back and work with your writing partner. And I think that's going to be something that you do a lot this year. Okay. Um, so what I want to show you is, and I'm going to have to pull this up really quick, so just give me a quick second to figure out how to put this on. Um, I want you to be thinking, too, about that um, soccer team and how, you know, the forward isn't the only person that makes the goal, right? Somebody passes it to them. Maybe the defender, you know, was able to block it and it gets passed down, right? So that's what exactly what your writing partner is going to do for you. They're going to help you improve and get to your goals. Um, so some of the things, and I'm going to ask you to turn to the next available page in your writing, in your writing notebook, please. Thank you for doing it so quickly. I love it. I like to move kind of quickly, so I appreciate it when students can move quickly with me. Because we're just going to be down here on the carpet for just a couple minutes, because I want to get you off. Do we write that? Um, yeah, that would be great. Um, okay, so some of the things that writing partners do... And I'm just going to go quickly, so it's okay if you just kind of go quickly with me. So some of the things that partners do is they sit knee to knee, eye to eye. And that helps them to actually face each other. Do you have to face each other all the time? Nah. Thank you for jotting quickly. That's great. It allows me to get through this quickly. Sometimes you'll see your writing partner nodding to you to show you that they're listening or to show you that they agree with you. So I'm going to put on this list, nod. Kind of looks like this, right? When someone's talking and you're kind of like, yeah. That's something that writing partners do for each other as they support each other with nonverbal cues. So that's one thing you might do for your writing partner. Something else you might do is sit back to back. This is one of my favorite strategies to do with a writing partner. So sitting back to back. So, 
Blake's working on his writing, and I'm working on mine. So I'm doing my independent work, but I got my writing partner's back, right? I got his back if he has a question. He can just go, I'm quite sure how to spell the word. Can you help me? Okay. How do I spell blah, blah, blah? Oh, thanks. Okay. <laughs> and he's got my back, right? We've got each other's back. So sometimes we work independently, but with our partner at the same time. While we're sitting here, Blake, can we demonstrate, please, need any eye to eye? I think he's smart enough to know what it's going to look like, right? Need a knee? Eye to eye. <laughs> so this is one you're going to get to practice today in a couple minutes. Thank you, Blake. Another thing that you'll do with your writing partner is you'll provide some resources if, you, if they need it. <coughs> Wait, what? Yeah, provide resources. Let me explain what I mean. Sometimes Blake might be stuck on um, how to start his, his new narrative out. And I might say, oh, Blake, I was reading this chapter book the other day, and the author led into the chapters in such a cool way. Let me show you that book. Let me show you that resource, and that might help you. So that's one thing that writing partners might do, is they might give them something to help. Do you have an idea of some of the things that writing partners do? Now let's think about some of the things that writing partners say. Oh, you've got some good ones. Okay, let me do mine, and then maybe you can add on. So if you have one you need to jot down on your list, jot it now so you don't forget it. And I want you to forget your good idea. Okay, here's some of the things that you might say to your writing partner. Ooh, ooh, I liked it. I liked it. The part where blah, 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 because blah, 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 it made me, you know, feel like I was there. So I liked the part blah, blah, because blah, blah, blah. You might say to your writing partner, ooh, ooh, tell me more about... Blah, blah, blah. Because maybe Molly mentioned like one little thing and I'm like, oh, I kind of want to know more about that. Right? Ooh, here's a really helpful thing that you can say to a writing partner. I have a suggestion. Blah, blah, blah. You know how else you can help your writing partner? By saying this to them. This is a really actually helpful and kind thing to do. You don't have to worry about hurting your writing partner's feelings. I was a little confused. You know, at the part, blah, blah, blah. Right? Those are things that you can say to help your writing partner out. And there's, I'm going to have you help me add to this list, but we're not going to do it right now. So please write down your good ideas. I'm not ignoring you. I'm just trying to move us along. But you will get a chance with the, with the pen to come and add to this later. So those are some of the ways that writing partners can work together. Those are some of the things that they can do, some of the things they can say. But let's practice. Let's give it a chance. Let's give it a, a shot right now, okay? So I'm going to practice with Blake, okay? Just because you're right here. That's what you get for sitting in the front. Okay, so Blake and I are going to sit. Let's hear it. Knee to knee, eye to eye. Okay. I'm taller than Blake, so I'm going to go eye to eye. You have to sit up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. So today, um, we're going to Rochambeau to decide who's going to be partner A. Ready? Go. Okay. I'm going to be partner A. Perfect, because I need to be partner A. <laughs> so partner A, that's me. I'm going to start out by telling a story to Blake. 
So while I'm telling my story, Blake is going to do some of those things because he's my writing partner, right? So he's going to face me. He's going to kind of nod his head. He already just did it. Um, he's going to maybe provide some feedback. Ooh, I should add that to my list. Give. And that, give feedback is where I look at this list, right? So he's going to say some stuff to me at the end. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to start out by telling a story. Um, I'm going to tell the story about uh, one day this summer when um, I, got a, I got a call that my little nephew was born. Okay? I'm going to start out storytelling um, with a little bit of action. Okay? So, I'm sitting in the crafts cabin up at summer camp, and I hear over the PA, Sarah, Jasmine, and Alex, please come to headquarters. And I was like, oh. in my head, I'm thinking, I know what this is about, or I'm in really big trouble. So I jump up from the crash cabin, I go leaping towards headquarters, and I run in and I open the door and I go, is he here? And they're like, I don't know. I don't know, but the hospital just called, so I think we need to call them back. So then we get on the phone, and we call the hospital, and I talk to my brother. I'm like, so George, is he here? 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 He's like, well, we have to wait for Jasmine and Alex to come down to headquarters before we can tell you the information. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I grab the PA, and I'm like, Jasmine and Alex, come to headquarters, hurry! And it like blares over the entire camp, right? And so then they come sprinting down the hill, and they run into headquarters kind of the same way I did, because they kind of also maybe knew what was about to happen. And so then all three of us are huddled around the phone, and we call my brother, and I'm like, so is he here? Is he here? And they're like, he's here! And so my little nephew, little baby George John III, was born while we were stuck at camp. He wasn't able to go to the hospital, but it was still a really cool moment. So then, the three of us decided to get on the PA system and announce it to the entire camp, because we felt so sad that we weren't there. But camp is kind of like our family, too. So, so we get on, and we have this whole plan, and after we were done crying. We grab the PA and we make an announcement. He's here! Baby George John III has arrived! And then up on the hill, you can hear all the campers cheering. They're like, woo! And they're super excited. Um, so that's my story. So um, what feedback do you have for me? So as my partner, you can use any of those things and you can respond back to me. So maybe the part where I make the announcement over the PA system is something I can slow down and exaggerate that part and elaborate a little bit more on that part. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. So um, so what you're going to do now is have a chance to practice what you just saw us doing. So writing partners, here's what I'm going to ask you to do. I'm going to ask you to very quickly turn knee to knee, eye to eye, and then don't say anything. So I'm going to give you your next direction. I know. Great job. That was perfect, perfect, fast, perfect. I love my triad is figuring out a way to make it work. That is great. Um, perfect, perfect. Okay, so now, you saw how Blake and I did Rochambeau to see, or rock, paper, scissors to see who's going to be partner A. As soon as you decide who's partner A, partner A, please raise your hand. Ready? So, partner A, I see your hands are raised. Awesome. Put them down. Guess what? Partner A, you're going to go second. Partner B is going to tell their story first. So, partner, partner B. So I'm going to give you two minutes to story tell. Try and start with an action. And partner, hey, remember you have a job too. Okay? Ready? Go. <laughs>
amazing, and then I'm going to give the other partner a chance to share. First of all, over here, it was kind of amazing. Tell me your name, sweetie. Tiara. Tiara. Tiara had, uh, excuse me. Tiara had this great story about how her friend forced her to go on these rides, and, you know, she was totally not into it. And she finished her story a little bit early. That might have happened to a couple of you, right? But what we did was we asked a question. We said, well, what did your friend do to force you? That was, a, that was a way to get her to tell more detail from her story. Now, Josh over here did something really smart as a writing partner. He took what he knows about storytelling, and he thought of a question he could ask his partner. So Logan told his story, but at the end, Josh said, well, where did your story take place? So Josh knows that a good story usually has a sense of setting, and so Josh's question was about setting, and that helped Logan tell a little bit more about his story. Was that a great way to, to help a writing partner? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> really awesome. I love that. I didn't even think of that. So has the other partner had a chance to share? No. Okay. So that was two minutes. You guys did a great job in two minutes. If you didn't get a chance to finish, that's OK. But I do want to give your other partner a chance. Ready? Go. chance to practice it with your partner. Hopefully, your partner helped you. So now it's time to go off and story tell in your notebook. You get to story tell across the pages. So you had a chance to work with a partner. Now it's going to be like independent time. Just me by myself storytelling on my paper. Ready, go. 